basically it's just going to be manipulation of the lottery and its capabilities at this, right, at so this we're minute we're going to gamble the future of our public pension fund on more gambling. No, sir, we're not expanding gaming. This is uh, authorization in the, in the uh, lottery corporation to do exactly uh, what they're doing now, just to say do it faster but, and harder. But your proposal is to rely on gaming proceeds to essentially mortgage the future of our public pensions and the obligations we have to our public the house, employees. The House believes to a person that we have got to fix this problem, that we have got to fund the problem and fill the hole in the debt, and we do not want to raise people's taxes. That's that, the that's other good, alternative that we of, don't want to do you that. Had a lot of, you had a lot of proposals out there to raise people's taxes, so I'm glad to hear that you've backed away from that. Well, I, I'm not saying who said what, but I'm just saying we're focusing on something that we believe will provide certainty to this, to this system, will give a, an outcome that provides a replacement income for those who retire and is acceptable to the public because the public has overwhelmingly said to the House, we do not like the hybrid. We prefer the defined benefit. Now, we are going to change well, you, the you, defined you, benefit. You, Hang on just a second. We're going to change the defined benefit by giving the legislature in the future the ability to change the factors if we need to, if we hit the stone wall again. We're going to build flexibility in, into that, and it will save the same amount of money that the hybrid will save and retain the defined benefit to give certainty to people, to give them the ability right. to uh, have a certain we, pension. We've benefit. talked about the hybrid, which we need to define. I'm first going to take a phone call. I want you all to take a, a, a this will be the only breath you'll I'm have take for the next 30 minutes. And a drink. Uh, Mr. John Holt joins us from Ballard County. Mr. Holt, a quick question or comment, please. Yes, I'd like to make a comment. I'm a retired state worker, 35 years. When I hard in, I hard in at two dollars and ten cents an hour. And at that time, when I hard in, I was told I would get a defined retirement system. I put my money in, and the state, after so long, decided to take my matching money and put it somewhere else where they could thought they could use it back. Uh, the senator there that talks about gambling. I don't see any difference in the gambling part of y'all taking my matching part money that y'all was supposed to match it, put it somewhere else, then later on we'll pay it back. Sir, that makes me just sick. All right, Mr. Holt, thanks very much for joining the program tonight. Uh, let's try to respond to your uh, questions. Let Senator me, Thayer. Let me calm his fears. We, in Senate Bill 2, are not making any changes to his pension benefit. Current employees and current retirees, Bill, are having no changes made. And this is the problem, though. There's all this disinformation out there from this public pension coalition to try to scare people and use scare tactics to make phone calls like this. This man is all exercised and excited because he thinks we're taking away his pension. And it's just not true. We are the good guys trying to save his pension.